Hello there, I'm Sarah Bainbridge and this is my 30 minute yoga floor. Come take a seat on your mat. You might want to take half your waters, sit cross-legged, find a position that suits you. Sit up long through your spine, extend through the crown of your head. We're going to breathe in to calm. And breathe out to relax. Take a few breaths here, connecting with our breath. And I just want to invite you today to take a moment and to pause and to consider how we can be really kind and gentle to ourselves. Our lives are so busy. It's something that I sometimes need to reflect upon. And I want you to set an intention for the day to be kind and gentle, to take some time to connect with the breath, to connect the body and the breath, to release the tension that you might be carrying, to relax and to find some peace and serenity. Breathing in through the nose and a long slow exhale. And when you're ready, we're going to bring it round. We're going to start in child's pose. So we're just going to push back through our hips, reaching the hands forward, fingers splayed. You might be able to bring the crown of your head down to the ground, sending the hips back, breathing in to calm, and exhaling to release here. Relax your shoulders and see if you can melt into the floor. And now we're going to bring it forward, we're going to bring the weight through to our arms. We're arching, lifting our tailbone, we are lifting through the crown of our heads. Sucking the belly button in to the spine, possibly lifting the eye gaze, coming to cow pose. Take a breath in here and exhale slowly. And now lifting the belly button, tucking the tailbone, tucking your chin, we're going to come to cat pose. Bring awareness through the core here. Breathing in through the nose, slow exhale. Now let's try the cow pose again, moving gently through your spine, pulling the tailbone up and back, and steadying through the breath. And one more cat pose as we gently lower our tailbone, tucking our chin, lifting up through the belly button, breathing in and exhaling. Okay, we're going to come to a neutral spine now, flattening your spine down, and we're going to do some leg raises to warm through our hips. So our front leg is going to come back and up, our foot is flexed. The weight is evenly distributed through the hands. Breathing in. And on the exhale, you're going to bring the leg round and down. Don't let the knee touch down. Bring the foot back up. Engaging the glutes here. Breathing in. And on the exhale, slowly with control, lowering down. Now let's try the other side. 
Breathing in, we inhale, the leg rises, foot is flexed. And on the next breath, we're going to bring that foot round, we're opening through the hip bones, and we're going to come back up with our foot flex and circle round. Well done, push back to child's pose. You send your hips back through, extend the arms forward, and take a breath here. We're going to tuck our toes now and we're going to bring the weight into our heels, pushing back through our hands for up dog. You might want to just walk through the feet, pushing down with your heels, gazing towards the navel. Tailbone is high here. The arms are shoulder width apart. The fingers are splayed with energy shooting out from all of those fingers. Breathing in and exhaling to release. Now we're going to bring the front leg forward, planting the foot in between the hands for a long lunge. The back knee comes down. We're going to extend through the crown of our head. We're opening through the hips here. Breathing in through the nose and exhaling. Now you're going to plant your hand. We're going to use that as leverage as we come to twist our shoulders round. We might lift our eye gears. The other hand is firmly planted on the ground. You're aiming to get your shoulders facing the long line of your mat while your hips face the front line of your mat, the short side of your mat. Now tuck your toes and lift up if that's for you today. I'm going to raise up through the arms. We keep our chest close to our knee and knees stacked over our ankles. We're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and out through the nose. Now see if you can rotate a little bit more, dropping that top shoulder down to go further into that stretch. Through the nose and exhaling. Now plant your hand down. We're going to push back to our dog and we're going to just take a stretch here and take a moment here to reset, to find our equilibrium again. Lovely long breath in and exhale. Now we're going to bring the back leg through, plant it between the hands, the back knee comes down. We're going to raise up through the crown of our heads. You might want to lift your eye gaze, your chest and your heart is open. Inhale. And a slow exhale here. Okay, we're going to use the arm as leverage. And we're going to come into our twist. Find your breath here. We're working through our thoracic spine. You're only as old as your spine is young and flexible. So let's really work today on creating that flexibility within our spine. If it's for you, Come up on the toes, and on the next inhale, you can raise your arm overhead, keeping that chest close to the knee for the maximum twist. Okay, well done. Plant the hands. I'm going to push back to our down dog. Take a breath here. Well done indeed. We're going to roll forward to plank now, engaging every single vertebrae. And then as we lower, we're going to do that with confidence and with grace. And then we're going to swoop up for our up dog, pulling the shoulder blades back. Push back to down dog. And we're going to walk the feet up to the hands and find our forward fold. 
breathing in. And a lovely long slow exhale here. We're going to come to the sun salutation part of our class. So the next inhale, we're going to rise up to an extended mountain pose. Palms touch. We exhale and we come to a little baby back bend, tucking the chin. And then we're going to exhale and swoop down. Come down to forward fold. Front leg, long leg extension, opening through the hips. Now push back to our down dog. Aiming for the heels to be touching the ground. Then we're going to roll through and lower Chaturanga. Come to up dog now, squeezing through the butt. Really engaging your core muscles as well here. Now we're going to push back to our dog. And as we exhale, the front leg comes forward, long lunge, planting it between the hands. We raise up through the crown of the head, chest proud. And then we're going to find our forward fold and relax into it. Well done. Inhale as we rise. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, come up to extended mountain. And then exhale as we swoop down to our forward fold. The back leg now steps back for long lunge, raising up through the crown of the head. And push back to your dog now. We're using those hands to really push your weight back, chest to thighs. And then we're rolling, we're catching the wave forward as we're moving with grace and agility and control to lower and then swooping up to up dog. Push back to your down dog now and breathe. The back knee comes through for a long lunge, opening up through those hips, maybe lifting the eye gaze, and then find your forward fold, well done. Inhale, we're gonna add on a little bit more now, to so the palms clasp. We exhale, come to baby back bend. Take a breath in, and on your exhale, you're going gently lower, coming down to your forward fold. Chest is leaning against your thighs. Now front leg comes back for a long extension here. Maybe lifting the eye gaze. Push back to your forward fold. Connecting with that breath. Now we're rolling forward. And we're lowering, testing our upper body strength. And lifting up for up dog. Push back to down dog now. And we're gonna add on a little so our front leg is going to come up to three-legged dog. Our weight is evenly distributed through the hands. We're on our tiptoes and we're really reaching with the toes of our feet. We're really trying to get almost into a splits position. Then we're gonna bring the knee through to chest to nose, planting it. The back foot comes down to 45 and we're going to Lift the arms up gracefully for a dancing warrior. The knees over ankle and the arms are graceful as we see shape through our spine. Now we're going to spiral the hands down, turning the back foot, coming to a lunge. We're going to step up and find our forward fold. Take a breath here. Inhale as we rise, palm stitch, baby back bend, squeeze that foot to protect your lower back, arms stretch wide, energy shooting out of those fingers, the back leg now, lovely long lunge, opening through the hips, extending through the crown of the head, 
We inhale, we step back. We find our down dog. And then you're going to roll, engaging that vertebrae, catching that wave of energy and lowering with confidence. Sweep up for up dog. Squeeze that foot. Working your back muscles here. Shoulder blades back. Squeezing together. Now push back for your dog. Take a breath. Back leg rises, three-legged dog. Really, really extend as much as you can here. Take a breath. We're going to bring the foot to chin, through the chest to chin, planting it in between the hands. The back foot comes down to the 45 degree angle. We're strong through our legs and graceful through our upper body as we dance that out, the dancing warrior. Arms come back down now, spiral them down, we turn the back foot, we find our lunge, and then we're going to step in, find that forward fold. Well done. Inhale, rise up, extended mountain, palms stretch, exhale to lower. Now you can step or jump back, find that plank position, and then we're going to lower, swoop up, chest lovely and proud for up dog, and push back to your down dog, and stay, stay here a second, reset, find that equilibrium, Remember checking in with ourselves, the intention for our, lesson, our, our session today, being kind, being gentle with ourselves. Let's start to slowly pedal our feet down. Okay, we're going to come into our sun salutation variation here. The front leg is going to extend upwards, breathing in and exhaling. Now we're going to open out the hip by bending the knee. Feel how that really creates a gorgeous hip opener. Now the knee's coming through, we're going to plant that knee in through our hands, the back leg comes down. We breathe up, arms raise overhead for warrior one, and then we're going to exhale, arms coming wide, engaging the back muscles, squeezing the elbows back here. The gorgeous, very powerful stance with a bit of drama. Now we're going to bring the weight through. We're coming to a warrior three pose, so we bring the weight through to the front leg. Slight knee bend if you need it. Focus on a drishti and then take off with confidence. Use the breath to calm and focus. Well done, bring it back down. Thank you down dog. Well done. Now we're going to do all of that drama on the other side. So we're going to start with a little leg raise, breathing in. And exhaling to release. Then we're going to bend at the knee, opening up through the hip further. It's going to support us for later on in our session. We're going to bring the knee through to the chest and nose, planting it in between the hands. The foot comes down. Inhale and rise up. Reach, reach, reach for warrior one. Exhale and open your chest and heart. Stand proud in this pose. And we're starting to move now with grace and determination, bringing the weight through to the front foot. Hopefully you haven't got a piano in your way. Focus on one drishti. Quieten your mind with your breath. Indeed. We're back down to our down dog. Well done, everybody.
Walk out for your dog now. Setting, resetting that equilibrium. Okay, well done. We're going to walk our hands up. Our feet up to our hands, sorry. We're going to take a little moment here to relax through the shoulders. And we're going to turn ourselves to the front of our mats. Feet together. We're going to rise up and we're going to come to an intense pose. So, put our hands at heart centre. We're going to bend through the knees. Our chest is up nice and proud. Shoulders are down. Breathing in and exhaling to relax. Tucking your tailbone to engage the core muscles a little bit more. Can you sit further into it perhaps? Focus here is key. We're looking for that little spot of desirable difficulty. You shouldn't have any pain. We're looking for that place where we're growing and where growth and change can happen. Okay, we're going to stand now, we're going to rise up. We're going to come to angel pose, so our hands are going to come overhead. We're going to come up onto the balls of our feet. Our arms are going to open wide. Lift your eye gaze if that's for you today. Next inhale, maybe we lift your chest. Lift up onto the balls of your feet more perhaps. And on the next exhale, lower your shoulders. Make sure they're not creeping up around your ears. Shoulders drop them down. Big breath in. And exhale. We can come back down now. So heels touch down, prayer hands to heart centre. We're going to come to a modified eagle pose. So take the right leg, cross it over the knee, find a drishti on the floor, breathing in through the nose. And on your exhale, you're going to start to gently and slowly lower. Find a place that's comfortable for you, but you're looking for that little bit of desirable difficulty. A breath, use your breath to calm. Well done, now we can stand up gently and slowly. Going to swatch legs, breathing in, resetting, and on the next out breath. We're going to start to slowly, with purpose, lower into the pause. Use the breath to calm here, pushing that big toe into the ground to give you that support. onto the balls of our feet, palms together, take a breath here, exhale to lower, we're going to come to dancer's pose now, grab your thumb, your big toe connects to your thumb, the arm comes out forward, we're looking down the arm here, and we're going to then, maybe we're going to turn on the side just so we've got a better view here. We're going to start to slowly tip and exhale. If you want more, you can raise the arm overhead. Feel how that really engages the back muscles here. We're going to play around with dancers' pose where we can get into it. Let's 
try that on the other side. So you get your big, big, your thumb, your big toe. They're going to connect. Breathing in, finding a focal spot, possibly on the floor, and starting to tip. Use that ab breath, create that calm. Let everything else fall away. We're focusing on our body. We might want to raise the arm up. Grounding ourselves through our foot. And we're going to take that and use that today as our peak pose. So well done, everybody. Bring the prayer hands to heart center. Breathing in through the nose and exhaling. We're going to raise the arms up. We're going to find angel pose again, extending the arms, standing proud. Proud of ourselves for. Taking a leap, relax the shoulders down, lift your chest to the sky, maybe lift your eye gaze. Well done. Bring your prayer hands down to heart centre. We're going to come to the top of our mat. Take a step to the top of your mat. Roll down. Find your forward fold. You might want to cradle the arms, gently rock from side to side, focusing on a lovely long out breath. Okay, we're going to bring it round to the front, we're going to find a seated position and we're going to bring one leg into the groin. One leg extends out, and we are arm down. We're going to breathe in, and we're going to see shape through the spine, extending here. You might want to rotate a little and lift your eye gaze as a way of deepening into this pose. If you want a little more, you can extend the arm behind, and that will really sort of Stretch out all of your back and shoulder muscles here. Breathing in. And going to plant the hand behind. The other arm is going to come up, sweep up, push through your hips. I'm going to wild play here. Definitely one of my favourite poses. It just creates a sense of freedom. Breathing in. Can you extend further? Okay, well done. Bring it round. Let's try that on the other side. So gently swap. Bring the other leg into the groin. Sit up through your sit bones, nice and proud. We lay the arm down. We inhale. And we see shape through the spine. Try not to just flop. The aim isn't to just grab hold of your toes here. The aim is to get a side stretch. So keep some awareness through your upper body. Maybe if you want more, you can start to rotate, lifting your eye gaze, drawing that top shoulder back and down. And if it's for you, you might want to take the arm behind for even more of a lateral stretch. And now we're going to plant the hand behind. We're going to come up, swooping up. We're going to push our hips forward for wild thing. Take a breath here. Just revel in the majesty of this pose. It's such a fun one. Okay, bringing it down. Well done indeed. We're going to bring it round. We're going to gently lower, roll down through your spine. We're going to grab somewhere on our feet, our legs, our thighs, bringing the knees in, and we're going to come to happy baby. You might want to gently rock. You should feel like a lovely massage on your lower back. Keep your tailbone down. And breathe. Okay, we're going to come to a supine rainbow twist now. 
So we're going to bring the back leg over the other leg, crossing your legs, arms split wide. Bring the knees down. We're going to bring the palm over to touch. And then we're going to gently paint a rainbow with our fingers, bringing it round. Now let's come to the other side with that. We bring the knees into chest. We cross over to the other side. Exhale to lower. And then the hand comes over. And we gently, with grace, bring the arm round for that lovely twist as we relax into it more. Now, everybody's favourite, we're going to find Shavasana. So find somewhere comfortable for you on the floor. This is your time now to meditate and to take a moment to take all that goodness that we've just done into your body, connecting the breath and the body. So palms can be facing up, let the legs flop. Breathing in through the nose. And exhaling to calm. You might want to take a seated position if that's for you today. You might want to lie on your side. You do you. Now we're going to just focus in on using that breath and relaxing through the breath. Breathing to calm. Exhale to release any tension. Don't you just think about an idea of being kind to oneself. And sometimes that's about being very present in the moment. And not letting the future impede upon this very moment. Not harking back in history, but focusing on the now being present in our bodies, being thankful for our bodies, breathing in and exhaling. I invite you to take this kindness and a sense of gentleness into the rest of your day. Thank you very much.